If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. In this brief demonstration, we're going to discuss the PoE or Power Over Ethernet budget and look at ways that we can manipulate and view the PoE budget via command line. So I'm logged in here to a switch in my home lab and we're going to just take a look at the PoE status of the devices and kind of an overall look at the PoE capabilities and, and um, usage of this particular device. Um, the first command that we're going to look at is going to be the show inline power command. Uh, so we're going to execute that and we can immediately see a whole bunch of information like an overview of all the PoE on this particular switch. We can see what our capability is. So we've got 124,000 milliwatts. So that's 124 watts um, that the uh, switch is capable of. And currently there's only four watts free. Um, so not a whole lot of space uh, currently to add additional devices here. Um, and we can see the breakdown of how that power is actually being allocated. So when we're talking about adding APs and figuring out uh, power budgets, this is really important. So you got to make sure that the power capacity matches what you expect and what your needs are for the APs that you intend to plug into it. This is a particularly small switch, only 12 ports, um, but if you had a 24 or 48 port PoE switch, um, you would want to make sure that it has ample budget to be able to supply uh, power to all the devices that you intend to plug in. Um, this particular switch, looking at this overview here of show inline power, we can see that there are only three ports, I'm sorry, four ports that are providing PoE power, port 1, port 2, and then port 11 and port 12. And uh, really important here to look at are the consumed and the allocated uh, column. So the consumed uh, is, is showing me what draw the APs currently have. Now this is a lab environment. Um, this is for my home. Not a lot of things going on. Some people connected to some of these uh, APs and others are just sitting idle. So the consumed power on some of these is rather low. Um, but you can see in all cases we are actually allocating 30 watts of power. Um, some of these, uh, most of these are class 3. Uh, one of them is a class 4. So uh, how did I get to this? Uh, a lot of times when you plug in an AP directly to your switch, it will do some hardware negotiations to figure out what class of power needs to be provided and, and give it a um, amount of power for the device. Uh, I'm actually just going to look at my running config here and see what I've done. Um, and it looks like on this switch what I'm currently doing is specifying inline power, power limit, uh, 30,000. So that's telling each of these ports, go ahead and utilize or, or assign 30 watts of budget to these ports. Well, that's that's how I get um, only four watts left. So I am over allocating uh, power in some of these cases. And, and what I can do is I can look at show LLDP neighbor and I can see port one is a R510, two is an R650, 11 is an R510, and 12 is an R310. Uh, and I can tell you that the R310 does not, in fact, need 30 watts of power. So in, in the case of port 12, we are actually over allocating power on that port. So going back to the show inline power, um, we're using 4.3 watts and we've allocated 30. So even though it's never going to use 30 watts, the budget has already been docked 30 watts. So we're not going to be able to add any other devices to this switch until I correct that. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go into config mode. I'm going to go into uh, 1112 and I'm going to do no inline power, power limit 30,000. So this will take that command out and I'm just going to reapply inline power. By default, all ports on the ICX uh, have inline power enabled. Um, you're not going to see that in the running config. Uh, the only thing that you will see in the running config is if you 
shut off power by running no inline power, then you would see that in the running config. Otherwise, all the devices are going to, to have uh, power to them when you when you boot them up uh, or when you plug them in rather so I'm gonna rerun show inline power again and you can see now that port 12 is allocated the 15.4 watts class 3 that it should more appropriately have which frees up our budget so we've got 18.6 watts now available so I could add another AP whereas I could not before. So again, it's really important that when you're when you're specking out a switch um, that you make sure it's got enough power and again, additional power supplies or, or um, upgraded power supplies may be available for the models that you're looking at. So that's something that you need to take a look at. And also you need to do the calculations. Uh, your APs may have different configurations um, that they need, the uh, power classes that they need based on their capabilities. So when you're looking at building this out overall, take that all into consideration and you can use this uh, show inline power command and some of the port level commands to fine tune the configuration to meet your needs. That's all we have for this one. Thanks for viewing and we hope you can catch us for future video demonstrations.